What's going on guys? So I have in my possession the new summer fragrance from Icon de Parfum. We are talking about Summer 95. This is a new packaging. As you can tell, everything's still sealed. I haven't busted it open. I wanted to bust it open with you guys and see what it's all about because Icon's known for making some really nice original indie fragrances. 623 is a banger for them. This beautiful green cactus fragrance, glass quartz fresh a little sweet and powdery mill avenue great melon based blue fragrance they put some good stuff out for sure so i have high hopes for this one so let's bust it open and talk about it stay tuned So while I'm cutting this open, I'll have the notes on screen for you guys so you can check it out. Um, I've looked at the note breakdown already, so I, I'm not going in completely blind. I think it's got blackberry and some sweetness and some other citruses and stuff like that. So I don't remember the note breakdown exactly, but there we go. Summer 95. I've always loved how they've etched this in the back of the glass. This is summer 95, we got the icon eye on the front. And decent cap, a little bit of metal, some plastic. Let's uh pull a blue still on that hand. Nothing on this hand. Sprayed right away. Cool god. Look at all that. That is not what I was anticipating. It's sweet and strange. <laughs> Very sweet and fruity. There's something really attractive about it. And there's also something else on the other side that's really freaking weird and strange. This is super unique. This is absolutely not even close to what I was expecting. It's oddly attractive, but really weird. I have to say, it's really weird. There's something really weird here. There's a lot of lemony freshness. There's some sweet fruitiness, but there's this something... Almost smells like wet concrete. Yet, yeah, now, that, now that's got to be what it is. And I think that might be in there, some kind of concrete note. Let's pull these notes up. I'm dying to know what the hell this weird stuff is. Okay, I've got it pulled up right here. I'll read the press release. The summer of 95 had the hottest temperatures in Arizona ever. One day in particular, it was a sweltering 122 degrees. I had no clue, so I treated it like any other day with playing basketball and just doing nonsense. When my dad got home from work, he quickly made a huge jug of lemonade and we watched some movies. What I tried to capture with this fragrance was a progression of that day. Bright citrus, grass, and blackberry lemonade will start it off as it burns down to a warm, sweet summer night. Notes of blackberry, grass, hot cement. That's got to be what the hell this weird stuff is that I'm smelling. Lemon, lemonade, musk, sugarcane, tangerine, vanilla, vetiver. So the lemon and lemonade, I was getting a heavy lemon smell. The sweet fruitiness is probably the blackberry mixing with this tangerine, sugarcane combo. And then that strange, weird-ass note is this whatever hot accord creates hot cement. It smells like concrete. So I used to, when I worked in the oil field, I used to do what's called electric line, E-line. Some of you watching this know exactly what that is. Some of you have no clue what that is. The easiest way I've always explained it to people is I was part of the crew that would go down the well and shoot the holes in the earth for the natural gas and oil to come out of. Dealt with explosives running in and out the well. Anyways, we used to have to plug off certain sections so we could go to another section. So that involved mixing cement and dumping bales of concrete down the hole at however many feet we needed to. So I've mixed, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many pounds, how many buckets, how many gallons of concrete, of cement that I've mixed over the years that I've done that. That's why this distinctively is reminding me of that and 
there's so much good about this, but that is so strange. I don't necessarily think it's bad, the hot cement note. It definitely gives it the most unique of characteristics that I've ever smelled in a fragrance. Icon de Parfum, Jay is so good at creating these specific memories in his life because Arizona Sunset, it's got a cigarette accord. It smells like drinking coffee and smoking a cigarette. He wanted to replicate that for his stepdad, and that's that's what it smells like. Like The storytelling here is on point. It's 100% on point. Oh, and it's get, it is getting better. This cement note is calming down. The blackberry's taking a hold. It's stepping out in the front and saying, I'm what you're going to smell now for a little while. It definitely has a blackberry lemonade accord going for it, and it's getting much more musky. This is different for a summer fragrance, but it's not just about it being a summer fragrance. It's about a memory from summer 1995. So I can absolutely appreciate the storytelling being done here. As always, there's always a theme. There's always a story behind every single Icon de Parfum fragrance. So I have to say, pat yourself on the back for this one, Jay. You recreated this. What This story you're telling, I'm smelling. You nailed that. But I will warn anybody that wants to try this that it's super unique and weird. Weird's a great word for this. I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean because I've never, ever smelled anything like this. It's fruits, it's citruses, it's lemonade, it's musk, it's sweetness, but it's freaking concrete cement. It's, there's some distinctive hot cement is the, what's listed. And it smells like cement. It really does. But it just works. It just works. Definitely get a sample. Absolutely not blind by safe. Nothing blind by safe about this fragrance. But if you're looking for some very unique storytelling that can capture and captivate your senses when you read the story being told and you smell the fragrance, it's spot on. It's absolutely spot on. And... Good God, performance is not going to be an issue. Look at that. This whole time I've been talking, it looks like I just sprayed it. Look at the top of my hand. That oil sheen. Performance is not going to be an issue. This is going to be a minimum eight hours, probably more in the 12-hour range. God, it's so unique. It's so unique. And look, if it was bad, I wouldn't keep going back to it to smell it. So don't take the things I'm saying as a negative. Just know that this is not going to be for everyone. This is going to be a polarizing scent profile that nails the story with the scent, 100% in my opinion, and is the most unique summer design fragrance I have ever smelled. That is my first impressions on the new Summer 95 from Icon de Parfum. The most unique summer fragrance I've ever smelled a spot-on representation of the story being told, in my personal opinion, for what I'm smelling. Polarizing, guys. Get a sample and try this one. It's an olfactive experience, especially when you read the story for the fragrance. That's worth having. It may be your most favorite random fragrance that you never knew you needed, or... It could be a complete miss for your senses. That's why I say get a sample. You can get samples from Icon de Parfum. I'll leave their website in a link down in the description for convenience for you guys. If you want to check out any of their stuff, check out 623 and Mill Avenue are my two personal favorites. Uh, Mill Avenue is kind of a watermelon-based blue fragrance, a juicy melon, fruity, fresh blue. It's awesome. Uh 623, beautiful green, fresh, juicy cactus type of fragrance. Those are the two highlights of the house for me. And this is probably the best set of storytelling I've had in a summer fragrance that I can think of at the moment anyway. So worth trying. Just be warned. That hot cement note, you're going to get that. You are going to get that. And you're even if you know it's coming, I don't know if you actually are going to be prepared for the way it smells. It's unique. It's interesting. The Blackberry Lemonade's what's it's what makes this fragrance though. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Summer 95 from Icon de Parfum and you give it a spray now, hey, there's definitely a chance you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.